The Atlanta Braves have come to terms on a four-year deal with former Baltimore Oriole outfielder Nick Markakis. I'm Jim Baskell with the latest ESPN headlines. It's a deal that's been confirmed by our own Jerry Krasnick. And our senior Major League Baseball writer joins us on the phone now. Jerry, this is a player who had his option declined by the Orioles at $17.5 million, But the O's were in talks with him to bring him back, as well as the Giants showed some interest. So what put the Braves ahead of the rest in terms of him ultimately inking in Atlanta? Well, Jim, it's funny because he'd been there quite a while, and I think the sense was initially that he would wind up back in Baltimore. You know, he's always been a favorite of Peter Angelos, the owner, and uh, I think the sense was he would retire an Oriole, but it seemed like early in the process it kind of lost momentum, and maybe the Orioles weren't willing to go as long as he wanted, um, you know, and as high on the deal. And once he went out there, there was a pretty active group of teams interested in him. You know, as a corner outfielder, doesn't hit a lot of home runs, but he's a pretty good defender and, and an on-base guy who can hit, you know, near the top of your lineup. And Atlanta found a hole for him, certainly after uh, trading Jason Hayward. They sure. needed to find somebody to play right field. Yeah, and our own bus are only reporting the deal is worth upwards of $45 million, so I guess that doesn't hurt as well, though he is a player that hit 276, 14 homers, 50 knocked in, and about 155 games, so they're not eye-popping offensive numbers, but John Hart has taken over as uh, president of baseball operations in Atlanta. You mentioned the Hayward deal. He's really kind of moved a lot of pieces in and out for this team, but there is the, the issue of uh, Justin Upton and Evan Gaddis. Now that Marcakis is a board where do you suppose that leaves them with those two players well that's going to be interesting to watch i think a justin upton trade is probably going to be tough to point to pull off you know as jason stark has mentioned uh i think he wants a bigger haul for justin upton than he did for jason hayward and it's tough for the braves to get that just because he only has one year left on his contract uh evan gaddis is a guy that really is pretty cheap right now and hits with a lot of power so He's another guy I think the Braves are going to ask a pretty high price for. Uh, problem with Evan Gaddis is he's not a great defensive catcher, and he's not really an outfielder. So he's probably more of an American League type of player. But that kind of power certainly has value, and the Braves aren't going to give him away. I mean, they're going to have to get a pretty good package to get something back for him. So I'm sure John Hart is going to keep all his options open. But right now he's been busy enough with uh, sure. the moves he's made so far. Yeah. He's senior Major League Baseball writer for ESPN, Jerry Krasnick. Jerry, we appreciate the insight. Again, Nick Markakis comes to terms on a four-year deal with the Atlanta Braves. John Hart replacing one gold glover with another as Jason Hayward just won a gold glove for the Braves prior to his trade with the Cardinals. Markakis, meantime, a two-time gold glove winner. Zero errors in 149 games in the field last year in Baltimore. You can read more about this story right here on ESPN.com. With the latest ESPN headlines, I'm Jim Baskell.